To segment your results by demographic data, you'll first need to import a CSV under the Demographics tab in the left-hand sidebar. To start, click on the Update Population button and a window will pop open where you can drag and drop a CSV or search through your files. You'll notice that there are several requirements for the CSV upload for a successful import. The first row must be all column headers, such as office location, manager, department, and more. The first column header must be the email address. This is how we will match demographic data to users on your Slack workspace. And all other rows after the first row must be users in their accompanying demographic data. The next step will be to manage and match the fields that were successfully uploaded. To the left has the attribute type as well as the CSV header that was imported. In this example, all of my attributes are text and were successfully uploaded. The table to the right are the first five rows that were imported along with their attributes. If you click on the drop down under the attribute type, you can also choose to ignore to upload this attribute, but by default, all the attributes listed will be uploaded. Once you hit continue, if there are any errors with your upload, you will see them on this window. The most common errors are mismatched emails, such as the two mismatched emails in this example. You can either choose to ignore and continue the upload or to cancel the import and re-upload the file with the correct information. I'm going to go ahead and ignore and continue this upload. Now you can see that the file has uploaded and is included in the population timeline. Because this is the only file that has been uploaded, it will retroactively apply to all past responses as well as future responses until the demographics population has been updated. To show what happens when you update your population, I'm going to quickly go through the upload process again. As you can see here, the new import becomes the current file where the attributes will apply to all responses after the previous one and for all future responses. The original file I uploaded, all responses prior to the date of the upload is applied with that file's attributes. You can easily change the date to which prior responses will be applied in cases where you go through organizational change, as an example. If you change the date to an earlier one, for example, March 1st, that file will apply to all responses up to March 1st, even though it was uploaded later than that. Then, the current file will apply to all responses between March 1st and now. From the population timeline, you can see the files that you uploaded, when responses were applied, the number of people that were uploaded in your population, and the count of the attributes that were a part of your demographic upload. To view your file, you can either click on the file name or the eye icon to the right of the attribute count. Here you will see the full list of the user rows and their attributes. To the right of the eye icon, you can also choose to delete the file if you wish. If you delete the current file, the file uploaded prior to that will be made the current file. And now we're all done here.